a cameo elements of power is actually the very very first xbox 360 game and it's an action adventure game in which you play as this sort of fairy elf princess who gets to transform into a whole bunch of different really odd creatures as she's trying to rescue her family from the evil troll king thorn and her wicked sister callus so you get to go through these storybook style environments fighting lots and lots of surly characters and turning into all kinds of weird creatures and doing a bunch of really cool stuff. Cameo has actually been in the works for a really long time. It dates back to the Xbox and the GameCube even as the developer Rare has been toiling at this game for, for many years and delayed its progress a number of times along the way. Fortunately, you can't really tell that for the most part from the finished product, which is by all means just a really high quality production and it looks amazing as you'd probably expect from a next generation game and, and it's got fantastic music and just a lot of really creative stuff all throughout the whole experience. Cameo is actually kind of disjointed at first. It might not give you that great of a first impression because it just throws you right into this action level that certainly looks amazing but charges you with figuring out a lot of the most complex game mechanics in the game uh, on your own without too much in the way of help. As Cameo, you can't really do all that much, but you can transform into all these different creatures which can do most of your fighting for you. And right from the start, you'll be transforming into this roly-poly elephant mole thing and this yeti that can throw icicles and impale trolls on his back and combining their abilities in kind of crazy ways as shifting between them in, in mid-jump and all kinds of stuff like that. Once you finally get past this level, for some reason only then are you put into the main tutorial proper and suddenly it's teaching you how to look around and things that you've really figured out by the time you've gotten through this first level. So it's almost like the first level was tacked on in order to make the game start with more of a bang. Once you get past this disjointed opening, the game fortunately moves along at a much smoother pace and puts you through a whole bunch of different situations in a really satisfying manner. You pick up new creature forms pretty steadily along the way. There are a grand total of 10 of these things, so there's really a lot to play around with. And although each form doesn't have a ton of different moves, they're each just brimming with personality and, and definitely have their own unique flavor to them as, as they can help you get past different types of enemies and different types of obstacles as well. One of the cool things about Cameo is that it's got a lot of puzzle solving elements to it, but it never stoops to sort of the traditional block pushing or item collecting type junk that a lot of these types of games use as filler. Instead, the puzzles are really combat oriented and have a lot to do with how your different creatures attack and, and how they can fight different enemies. So you'll come up against enemies that you can't beat using a lot of your different forms, but intuitively you'll figure out that maybe if I go into my weird water squishy jellyfish form, I could put out this little fire imp and take him out that way. Things of that nature. Also, Cameo switches between these exploration-focused sequences where you're just kind of going around and figuring things out to pure action sequences as you're fighting lots of enemies to these Badlands sequences, which are much more epic in scale as you're trotting on horseback through literally thousands of different warring elf and troll forces. And these sequences aren't that long, but they're really cool looking and help to break apart the action and also set up some of the biggest and most impressive battles in the game. Cameo really is a showcase for the Xbox 360, so if you've been wondering whether next generation games are really going to look all that much better, the answer is yes, they really do if Cameo is any indication. That's provided that you've got a nice home theater type setup where you could hook this game up to an HDTV to really bring out the best of its visual qualities. It definitely looks uh, superior to most games you could be playing these days, even if you play it on a standard TV, but you really need a high definition setup with your surround sound and all that stuff to experience this game's presentation to its fullest. The other thing about Cameo is that even though the Xbox 360 is a new system and all that, this is just a great game by any standard. It's, it's a fun, creative, interesting action-adventure game, and there aren't a ton of games like this anymore, certainly not ones that help balance kind of familiar mechanics. It's very easy to pick up and play this game, but also just have a lot of creativity to them as this game does, which you can immediately see just from looking at the different creature forms and getting to play around with them a little bit. Cameo's got a lot of great moments in it, but probably the best of them are when you acquire the new creature forms, which come at you pretty fast and often. 
these new forms, they're all kind of unique in their own right. It's really hard to ultimately decide which one is your favorite since they're all just uh, really different and, and pretty funny each in their own way. They make different noises as they walk around. You'll hear some of them kind of chuckling to themselves as they're fighting. So they're each really different characters. They're, they're not just these little uh, different graphic swaps of cameo. They, they control differently and play differently. So it's really cool once you're laid into the game to get to readily switch between them as, as the levels challenge you to figure out how to get through different scenarios using all the different abilities that you've acquired. The only problem is Cameo is pretty short. It seems like the game definitely could have been longer and it throws these new forms at you, you know, really more rapidly than it seems like it could have. It, it, it's too bad that there aren't one or two more of these action sequences, especially considering how good the ones that are there actually are. Even though you've got 10 of these different forms by the end of the game, it's still really easy to switch between them. You can map three of them just to the face buttons on the controller, but you could also just press and hold a button to bring up this little wheel that lets you really quickly select any of the other ones that you don't have already mapped to one of the controller buttons. The main actions of the game, meanwhile, are mapped to the triggers, so it's really intuitive to control the game after a while, and that's especially true since the Xbox 360 controller is going to make for a pretty familiar experience. It's not unlike the Xbox controller that you're already probably used to. Once you're finished with Cameo after eight, maybe ten hours, there's some more stuff that you could go back to. There are some hidden quests and little extras on the side. This is definitely one of those games where you can explore the environment and find some hidden secrets. But it's really the main quest where the brunt of the game lies. There is a two-player co-op mode which you can play in a split screen, but this co-op mode isn't all that great because it just throws you into the same action levels that you've already experienced. In fact, you have to unlock them before you can access them in co-op mode except you've got two players running around instead of one. The game doesn't even differentiate between who's player one and who's player two. They both look identical. And these levels were designed apparently around one character, so the co-op mode really isn't all that special. But hey, if you've got two people in your house fighting over control over the Xbox 360, that's one way to help mitigate the situation, I guess. Cameo Elements of Power really is a rock-solid launch title for the Xbox 360 and sets a high standard for the system as far as action-adventure games are concerned. It's worth noting that this is probably the most family-friendly of all the Xbox 360 launch titles, but don't take that to mean that Cameo is just for kids, because it's got enough really cool stuff in it for any game player, pretty much regardless of that person's experience. And it's just really fun to look at, fun to play, and has all kinds of quality kind of oozing out of every pore, even when you're not playing as the weird jellyfish-like creatures in the game. So Cameo is well worth checking out, uh, and it's going to be a great way to spend some of your first hours with the system if that's a route you want to go down.